Welcome back. We're now at part two of the Window Blind Shade Adventure. As we wrapped up the last video, I had a working prototype on a breadboard. And what I could do was I could spin a stepper motor over Wi-Fi through Home Assistant or with the button on the side. Now it's time to kind of productize this so I can build seven of them and automate my whole apartment. So let's jump in and see how we did. Please feed the YouTube algorithm by giving the video a like. If you want to see more like this, click subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of new videos. If you want to chip in on my expenses, I now have Patreon and YouTube memberships. So here's the schematic in KiCad. I pretty much replicated exactly what I had on the breadboard. Very straightforward. And here's the board, very simple. The red is the back side of the board. It's a giant ground plane, except around the antenna for the Wi-Fi on the ESP32. All the top traces are power or signal, so they're pretty beefy, except for the ones that just control the uh, switch. And you can see I brought in the outlines and in CAD, I was able to do a very cool visualization of the 3D printed enclosure with the circuit board and the uh, all of the other parts built into it. And if we look at the circuit board, you could see I found and imported models for the motor driver, the power supply, and the ESP32. So that looks pretty complete. That's I'm I'm really happy with that. And I got the boards back from China. They look great. And I learned a lesson from when my 3D printer, one of the motor drivers died. So I decided to put everything on standoffs, the motor driver, the power supply, and the ESP32. So let's plug that in, test for voltage, and flash the software. And all the voltages check out. The ESP is powered up. The motor controller, I think, has the right voltages on the pins. Now I have to connect it for the first time for ESP Home to flash onto the board. After that, I can update it over the air. All right, I've got the board installed. I've got a real power supply. All the voltages check out. And these are active, so it means it's talking to it on the Wi-Fi. So if I slide this here, we are moving. And the buttons are moving, although as glitchy as I had before, I didn't solve that problem. But you can even see the button is active, the button is active. So. Let's go give it a try on the actual blind. Now, the trickiest part of the whole thing was being able to attach this new system to the arm. And this used to be like that, but how did I detach that? Well, I had to grind off the head of the pin so it would come out. I tried to get the roll pin out, thinking that would work, but the roll pin is actually not holding anything in place. So I ended up designing this little adapter, which has the slot for here, and then a grub screw and a D-shaped uh, hole for the stepper motor shaft. I'll throw this up in CAD and I'll show you how that worked out. This took me about three tries to get right. So let me attach this. Okay, we're now bolted in on the shaft, plugged in, Wi-Fi is working, and the device is active on the network. This is the first full-on integration test. I have several concerns. The first concern is, the friction involved in this mechanism is going to be too much for this stepper motor to overcome. And it's just going to go, right? Second one is, 
my little makeshift thing, the grub screw, is not going to be strong enough to hold on to the shaft of the stepper motor. Third and more minor thing is up is down and down is up because I never checked which way the, the shaft rotates. So let me see if I can figure out how to hold that in place, slide that across, and video at the same time. I'm just going to try and push the button right now. Oh. Okay. It moved a little bit and stopped, and now it is not moving at all. All right, that was my bad. The little power supply board had come out of its little pins a little bit. So let's try this again. Hand test number three. stepper motor is trying to move but it just doesn't have the torque to turn and it's like slipping in its uh, electromagnetic field it's really trying I need something with more torque all right off to the webs to buy a new stepper motor okay the new stepper motor has arrived I redesigned the box took like 11 hours to print and you can see the difference between the old stepper and the new stepper the new one is two and a half times more torque than the old one so hopefully we'll get a little bit of action out of this if it doesn't work I'm gonna have to figure out a way to clean and lubricate the mechanism a lot better and I may just have to put this on the healing bench for a while because I put a lot of effort into it for no result. So let me plug the cable in and we'll see. And three, two, one. No. Oh, ooh, tiny bit. No, it just... I can see a, a tiny bit of movement, but it's just not able to overcome the friction in the system. So, I'm going to leave this for now. I'll publish the video as a warning to others about the hubris of trying to overcome one of the fundamental aspects of the universe which is friction never go up against friction because you're going to lose before we wrap up i'd like to thank my patreons and youtube members peter bouvier puppy and craig for their ongoing support i see that a whopping 96 percent of my viewers are not subscribers so please go ahead and click that subscribe button because it really helps out the YouTube algorithm. Thanks and take care and I'll see you in the next video.